We are talking primetime plays. Basically, if it's a primetime game, it's on television. We are going to talk about it. And this time of year, we get the NFL on Saturdays, which is such a blessing. Uh, So we got a little Monday night football on Saturday night on ABC Lions at Cowboys Dallas. Favored by five and a half. The total's 52 and a half. What do we make of this? A lot, because I saw this line, and when it was posted, it was six and a half. I'm like, that is way too high. But you dig deeper, this could be one of those games where Detroit barely shows up. And now, why would they barely show up? Well, just all the playoff scenarios, and there's only two weeks to go. So there's a lot of sort of scheming and you know shell game, if you will, with everything. I still think the line's a little too high, but Dallas has been world beaters at home this year in total Jekyll and Hyde, their point production, their defense, everything about that. Now, obviously, some of that is opponent-dependent, but Dallas is off back-to-back losses. Detroit has been a great team off a loss, not so great off a win, and, of course, they could be still celebrating their first division title in three decades, which, which they did last weekend. So the question is, which version of the Lions are you going to get? If this was like an outdoor game in the cold, I would totally be fading Goff because he's terrible in those situations. But it is Jerry World, and it does have the fast track, and I think the Lions can run on this Dallas defense. I I lean to the Lions and the points, but I think, not I think, I'm going to bet Dallas team total over. I think we're going to have a high-scoring game. I mean, this number was 52, the same as like last week's Miami game, and Dallas doesn't play as well on the road. And they had the fumble on the goal line in the first quarter. They had like 11 field goals or whatever it was between the two teams. And it still landed in the low 40s. So I think we're going to see some points. So I do like the Dallas team total over. And I also am on deck. There's some 25 to ones to win MVP out there. Just to build that portfolio, I think there's a good chance he actually becomes the second favorite after this game. Because he's going to have momentum, the spotlight. A former Cowboy quarterback on the call, and Troy Aikman, maybe you can get talking about him. And the guy leads the NFL in passing touchdowns. He's had a great season statistically. He's top three adjusted QBR and um, um, other you know quarterback ratings, other metrics. And so I think there'll be a lot of momentum there, and they'll have a good record. And then maybe the pressures on the Eagles to win or something like that. And then you, you sort of bet other way. I, I don't think he's going to win, but I think there's such value right now there in the market. So those are the two ways I'm approaching this game. I, I'm just focusing on that Dallas offense, and then I think Dak's going to ride the coattails and get get a big boost in his odds. Yeah, Dallas definitely needing this a little bit more right now. All right, so Doug is riding with the Dallas team total for the primetime play. 